coffee in my hand. I always bring this bag instead of a fanny pack. It's just more comfortable. I got it from Oaken for it when it was on sale and I couldn't return it. I was trying to return it actually, but I'm glad that I couldn't. I have uh, my Uniqlo heat tag, always a must. Then sweat, no, set active jacket. These are like my warmest fall time essentials. Um, leggings and some sneakers. Also gonna pack my sunglasses, sun stick, and sunscreen spray. Cause you never know if I'm gonna be in the mood to swipe or just spray and go. Four shrimp tempura, three spicy tuna, and one spicy fried chicken. A lot. They're huge. Mm -hmm. You got seven, eight. Mm, the best of the best. Do you have napkins, babe? Yeah. <laughs> I just like it because they make it so saucy. Let's taste the fried chicken. You first. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's the people that, <clears throat> that make cooking videos do. Like, you take the first bite. Oh my gosh. But you see, I'm like a fish only eating person. my mom a little cucumber salad and i cut everything up already i'm gonna make myself some too but i was over her apartment today and i was like give me your cucumbers because i'm gonna make something that i think you'll really like um i saw this on tiktok and i've just made making it and i kind of i hate when people do this but i just measure it by eye it needs soy sauce rice vinegar sesame oil okay this one's not expired yet gochukaru or red pepper flakes and then garlic and also some sugar. Okay, it's very light. Because I did a whole cucumber and I'm used to only doing like half at a time, I'm gonna add more vinegar. Some more soy sauce. I'm always scared of making things too salty, so I just add soy sauce little by little. Much, much better. I really did need that. You can see all the juice in the bottom. We're just gonna keep soaking all in. And now, so you can just snack on this or add it to any of her meals. I'm not a big salad person in terms of lettuce and tomatoes, so this is like what I eat instead of a salad. I am going to declutter a couple of things because as much as I like some of these, they're really old. Other things I don't have my perfect shade match in. And I just don't have space. So let's go through the things I am going to declutter. The first one pains me the most because I love this palette. It was my first and my only hourglass palette that I've ever owned. How pretty. I mostly use a bronzer to be honest. The other ones were a little bit... Like this pink one was too chalky on me. So you would usually blend this one with like the other colors. I think I'm going to pick up like their holiday palette. That's why I don't feel too bad about letting this one go. Also, it's like really old. Like I wouldn't be surprised if I've had this for four years or five years another powder that is new but just i just don't know how to use it and when i tried using it it just didn't work out for me and i'm a simple girl listen i'm a makeup minimalist if it's not easy to incorporate my routine i'm not really gonna reach for it this is the cherry blossom cake easy bake and snatch from huda beauty this one is their pinkish one um it just like made me look chalky again it's supposed to have like a little bit of a brightening effect but just didn't work out for me um so i'm going to be passing this one along because it's still new i love the formula of these ysl bare look tints these are both way 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 too light for me this is new one and new five you would think that one and five are kind of far apart but look 
they look almost identical so neither of them work for me um i do want to find my perfect match in this because the formula feels very watery like you have nothing on your skin i'm also going to be passing these along to somebody else this pains me but i think the super saturated from experiment broke me out because every single time that i would use this with different products it would always break me out and i know people love this it's still pretty new so i'm also going to pass this one along i know people swear by the nyx bra glue i'm also going to be decluttering the milani one the next one i gave it a fair shot i really did i don't like it it's like goopy and then it just looks weird on my brows no and this millennial one just doesn't work at all <laughs> like it does not keep my brows up at all and then the last thing i'm going to be decluttering is this dear dahlia shadow it's really pretty i just have space cowboy now and this one is broken and i don't feel like fixing it <laughs> As you guys might know, my friend and I have monthly girl nights and girl dates. So today's that day and we're going to the West Village. We're going to go to a restaurant slash drinks place and then a wine bar. And I want to show you my outfit for today because I think it's really, really cute. I'm wearing the tube top from Aritzia, this Princess Polly skirt with some leggings or not leggings. What do you call these? Um, damn, I really don't work out, so I don't know what these are called anymore. Uh, spandex, that's what it is. And then for shoes, I'm going to wear the ones that I got from Paris. These are from Massimo Duty, and they're freaking stunning. Jacket is my fiance's. Let me see what brand this is. I got it for him in LA from a certain... I don't... I can't see. It's not there. Um, so I got it from him. I got it for him when I was in LA, but I got it on the website because they didn't have his size in person. So I'll link it below, but I like how oversized it is. It is freaking hot today, though. It's like 80 degrees. It's going to get a little bit chilly when the sun goes down, but... That's why I'm bringing this light layer. So this is a full outfit. Again, if you see me doing an OTD with shoes inside the house because I have not worn them out. To be honest, I am craving a good girl's night, like a chill. Oh my God, I cannot wait. But I just need that because the past two weeks have been really rough. And I didn't understand why I was so emotional because usually I'm emotional before my period, not the two weeks after. Like that's supposed to be your best weeks out of the month. And I've just been going through it. I feel like everything that I'm worried about just came at me at once. Like things about feeling like a failure, worried about the future, family stuff, just came all at once and I just didn't know how to handle it and I would just break down. I'm feeling much, much better. But two days ago, I saw a video about how there's a eclipse in Taurus tonight. I'm a Taurus and how it affects all my big three. So that's lovely and apparently it's just a very highly emotional time. So that explains it. ridiculous right now but one thing about me i'm going to multitask plop and cook food every single time this does not look the most appetizing but i know it's going to hit i might have overcooked the noodles but let's see i overcooked the noodles but it's so so good my sephora order is here it got here pretty quickly and i want to open it up i know exactly what i ordered but this feels like christmas a little gift from me to me i pretty much stocked up on things that i already have used before and that i loved and then things that i've sampled that i just was dying to get a full size of first thing that i got is this shivanshi powder i got it in the shade too because i heard the shade is really good for pale skin 
Um, I always wanted to try a pink powder and I have the Huda Beauty one, which is good. I'm wearing it today and it doesn't make my skin look any darker. But I really wanted to try this one because it has more of a lilac shade that's supposed to be more brightening. I think I've finished one powder in my life. So I just got the mini to try it out. Then I got the Patrick Ta Duo and she's blushing. And I got the shade swatched on me at the Sephora event. Isn't it so pretty? I can't wait to use this one. I can already see this one being like a daily fall blush color. Next up. Oh, I'm so excited about this one and I purposely did not wear any perfume today so I can spray this one on me I got the vanilla by Kayali. I'm gonna open it right now and put it on my skin on my body on my clothes The girlies were right about this one. Oh my god oh. But you know right off the bat with the first spray this reminds me of the mix <laughs> Oh, I sprayed too much and got in my nose Right off the bat, this reminds me, at least the opening, of the Mixed Bar Vanilla Bourbon. I like this one a little bit more though. But if you don't want to spend this much on a perfume, and you want something that's maybe a little bit woodier than this, the Mixed Bar one is really good. I used it as my nighttime scent for like two years now. Got the Hourglass Jellyfish Palette. <laughs> Listen, I had to declutter my old ass Hourglass Trio Palette because I've had it for like five years at this point and I just knew it was way, way expired. I heard that this one's good for light skin tones, which is why I picked this one up as opposed to the Leopard palette. I think this is the biggest order that I made from Sephora, and I haven't really shopped their Sephora still in a while, but this is the last, oh, actually no, second to last full size. I already love the Dead Cold Taunt, and then I really wanted to smell milk. I needed a restock on this because this is my everyday perfume. And the last one that I got was another restock. This is the Amica Moisture Verse. It has their Hydro Brush Shampoo and Conditioner and also their Dream Routine Treatment and also Leave-In Conditioner. I already have these two, but I got it because I needed a restock on my shampoo and conditioner. This is the best one. I have tried to like try out other ones that are in my collection and I'm just disappointed every single time because this one is that good and i've said this many times i use this in my k18 routine very very moisturized very soft hair this is what dreams are made of i'm very very happy with this sephora haul